Hello everyone, this is our first solved problem para sa chain rule of differentiation. But first, i-recall muna natin kung ano ba ang chain rule. If we are getting the derivative of f of g of x, meron tayong composite function. Ang inner function natin ay yung g of x. This is just equal to, kukuhanin natin yung derivative ng outer function natin, yung buong function ng f of g of x while maintaining yung value ng g of x. This is our outer tapos i-multiply natin siya dun sa derivative naman nung inner function natin na g of x. This is another form, dy over dx, the derivative is just equal to, eto yung derivative ng y, yung ating outer function, and then eto yung derivative ng ating inner function. This is if we let u be our inner function g of x. Now let us apply this dito sa ating unang example. Since this is our first example, madali lang siya, mas mabilis siya compared sa ating future examples. We have y is equal to x squared minus 4x. This is all raised to 6. Medyo matrabaho to if we will be expanding yung x squared minus 4x kasi malaki yung exponent natin. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we will be applying our chain rule. Let this be x squared minus 4x yung ating inner function. Ibig sabihin, to get our f prime of g of x yung ating outer function, kukuhanin natin yung derivative nitong buong to while maintaining our inner function. Dahil meron tayong exponent na 6, pwede natin gamitin ang derivative of a power. Recall natin siya, if we are getting the derivative of a certain x raised to an exponent n, ang ginagawa natin is ibinababa natin yung exponent, tapos we copy x, ang gagawin natin dun sa exponent na n ay babawasan ng isa. So this is n minus 1. Same here. We treat our inner function x squared minus 4x as is, tapos yung exponent natin na 6, siya yung ibababa natin. Applying our derivative of a power, this is just equal to, ibababa natin sa exponent, we have 6 times, maintain si inner function, you have x squared minus 4x, tapos yung exponent na 6 ay ibabawasan natin ng isa. So this is 6 minus 1. And then according to the formula, tapos na tayo dun sa outer function. Now, kailangan pa natin siyang i-multiply dun sa derivative ng inner function natin. That is x squared minus 4x. So, we multiply this dun sa derivative ng x squared minus 4x. Then, we can still apply power rule kay x squared tsaka kay 4x. Kaya, one at a time, let's start with x squared applying power rule. Ibababa natin yung exponent na 2. So, this is 2 times x. Tapos, yung exponent na 2 ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, this is 2 minus 1. Then yung susunod, kay minus 4x, we have minus, carry over lang natin yung constant na 4, tapos si x, this has an exponent of 1. So ang gagawin natin, pwede natin siyang ibaba, again, applying our power rule, bringing down 1, so this is 4 times 1, tapos this is x, yung exponent na 1, ay babawasan din natin ng isa, so this is 1 minus 1. Now this is the derivative of our inner function, x squared minus 4x. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin ay, isimplify yung terms natin. So, this is just equal to 6 times x squared minus 4x, tapos 6 minus 1, this is 5, and then multiplied 2, 2 times x, tapos this will become 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, x raised to 1, this is still x, okay na tayo dito. So, minus 4 times 1 is 4. Kaso nga lang, we have x raised to 1 minus 1. This will become x raised to 0. Since we have a 0 exponent, applying our loss of exponent, this is just equal to 1. Kaya ang mangyayari, since this part will become x raised to 0 or 1, we have 4 times 1 times 1, this is equal to 4. So this is 2x minus 4. Then okay na naman siya, pero kung gusto mo pang bawasan yung terms, i-multiply natin yung 6 dito kay 2x minus 4. Hindi siya pwedeng i-multiply kay x squared minus 4x kasi meron tayong exponent na 5 dito. So multiplying 6 dito, so this is just equal to, huwag kalimutan si grouping symbol, we have 6 times 2x, that is 12x, and then 6 times 4, that is 24. So we have minus 24, and then we multiply it to x squared minus 4x raised to 5. Now we have, this is our dy over dx. This is the derivative of our function. This is our final answer. Now we were able to apply chain rule of differentiation for this example. This is it for our example number one. See you on our next examples.